service and selling a product is two totally different things. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, they do get intertwined. I actually own two companies. I own the Makeup by Gentry, which is where I've branded myself as someone who applies makeup naturally, kind of like a Bobby Brown or maybe even a Laura Mercier. Um, and I just do what, what I love and what inspires me. I want to look at my work at the end and be proud of what I did. I'm not into the Kim Kardashian makeup. Her makeup is beautiful, which is not really my style. So, you know, I have other people in the industry that have branded themselves to do that kind of makeup, and I will refer clients over to them because they're better at that than me. So I focus on what I'm good at, and I'm proud of my work at the end of the day. Um, and I'm really big on education and training, which kind of led me into starting my own line of cosmetics. Um, because all the different lines that I work for, with the exception of Bobby Brown, there's not a lot of education in the makeup industry. When you go to the makeup counter, mm -hmm. they throw on a lipstick and then you walk out the door. Um, if they do your eye eyeshadow, they don't typically teach you how to do it. So it's hard when you buy the products and then you go home and you feel so overwhelmed because you just spent $200 at the makeup counter and don't know how to apply it. So everything in my brand, I've branded for my makeup with a facelift, teaching women how to look like they had cosmetic surgery without, ever go, without having to go under the knife, uh, but actually named every product in my line after that plastic surgery technique so it all makes sense. But I think it all, it all kind of, um, really at the end of the day, I guess it does kind of intertwine the two companies. Um, but I kind of just stick, I, I stick to what I know and what I believe in. And I want every woman to feel like themselves, just naturally beautiful and polished. And I, I like that on the runway too, but it's not all about what I think. You know, I'm kind of told what their idea and their concept is. Like Andrea said, they come to you and they already have their ideas of what they want. They're not a hairstylist, they're not a makeup artist, but they have in their mind planned out exactly what's something they've seen somewhere and they want to duplicate that. And you may not always think it's the best thing, but somehow, some way, it typically pulls together at the end and ends up looking great.